In this video, I will show you how to turn your single player world into a multiplayer server. So for this video, we will be covering a method that applies to both worlds that have cheats enabled and worlds that have cheats disabled. First off, we need to minimize Minecraft and open up our browser. After we have opened up our browser, we select one of the search boxes and we write playit.gg. Then we press the enter button and we open up this link right here. PlayGG is a service that makes it possible to host game servers at home that anyone across the world can join. Then we press the download button after we get inside of the site. Then we press download for Windows, or it might be different for you if you use a different device. And I select that. It should automatically start. Now we can minimize our browser, go over to File Explorer, then go into Downloads, and we should have it at the top right here. We double left click and open it up. This should start running and you will be redirected to this website right here. Right here you will need to create an account. Select that and I'll be back as soon as I create mine. After you have created your account, all of these processes will start automatically. Then you press the create tunnel button right here. In this section right here, you can select your region. Only global anycast is free. For the other sections, you need to pay. Now I'll select that one and for tunnel type, you press it and then you select Minecraft Java. Then you check Enable Tunnel and then press Add Tunnel. Now after you have selected all of those options, you can scroll down and find this Update Local Address section. You will be interested in the Local Port section right here. To find your local port, you go over to Minecraft and then you can press the Escape button, then go into Open to LAN and press Start LAN World. On the bottom, you will see your local port. You will need to remember this port and write it into this section right here for me it's this one but for you it might be different because everyone has their own unique local port then you press the update button and you are set now you can scroll back to the top then after you have gotten to the top you locate your address and select it then copy it and after you copied it you can send it to your friend and now we are back inside of minecraft i sent the ip to my friend and he just joined the server i can open up the chat as you can see, it's the same server, same port, and here it is. Guide Realm joined the game. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.